So thank you for joining us. So maybe you could just start off by telling us your name, uh, your grade, and what school you go to. Uh, my name is Antonia Kamenichu, and I'm in seventh grade, and I go to Thomas Gerber Middle School. Thank you. Could you uh, tell us uh, a little bit about your project? So in my project, I predict the upcoming season, seasonal hurricane strength by looking at sea surface temperature data in the month of January. I think this is a really interesting and useful project because millions of people are affected by hurricanes. So, so doing this accurately and ahead of time will help save a lot of damage. I use neural networks in my project, which I think is a, is a really efficient method compared to others like the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration or the NOAA. They use mathematical models, but I think that um, neural networks are really good because they specialize in in analyzing um, in analyzing patterns, so they're really useful for data. So by the end of the project, I got results of eighty three percent accuracy, which compared to NOAA sixty five percent is really good. Wow! Thank you very much for that explanation. Um, could you explain in like simple terms uh, what a neural network is or maybe how this uh, model is able to predict things? So in a neural network, it basically analyzes the data and tries to form patterns in it so it can apply it to a test run where it would do analyze the same things before and apply it to this one. I see. So it's a, it's a way of the, that the computer or the machine can learn on its own and improve and be better than like a, a like a regular type of hurricane prediction is that correct mm -hmm. okay. yes they learn from old test sets and then they apply it i mean training sets and then they apply it to test sets interesting interesting thank you so what would you say was the most difficult part about your project uh, i think one of the most difficult part that i encountered was not having enough data because I used it from the NOAA's website where they put the data for the months from 1856 to 2019, which are only so many months available, I mean years available. So, but I was able to push through this by creating noisy images of these using classic methods uh, available in the Python library, like image augmentation. Okay, all right. And um, did you have anything that was like unexpected or you didn't really uh, think that you would see from your results? Uh, many of my results were expected, but one thing that I learned a lot was which parts of the world were in concern or important to predicting. And it's very well known that the tropical region is important in this. But so I was expecting that if we crop the maps, and just use that part, it would be, it would lead to a higher percentage rate. However, I, after I run, after I ran the um, tropical region, tropical Atlantic and the full domain, the full domain has the, had the best because, because there were still some important parts outside of that. Mm. Okay, cool, cool, great. Um, what, you, what grade were you in again? You said, I'm in seventh grade. You're in seventh grade. Okay, so you still have a ways to go. So what do you think you want to study in college or what once you, you finish high school? Uh, of course, I'm still like exploring what I could do with my life. But I became really interested in climate. And I think that it's like, I think that there's a lot of problems in our world now relating to it. So I think that like, I would be really interested in pursuing that. And there's also, I learned a lot about neural networks in this project and just computer programming in general. So I definitely want to follow that because there's a lot of uh, paths I could take with it. Right. So, so it sounds like something related to environmental science and maybe computer science together and how they can work together. Okay. Cool. Very good. Very good. Um, and then uh, I have one last question and then John probably will have some. Um, so my last question is, what do you think about the virtual science fair? It was the first year that we had to do this. Of course I wanted to like get the full on experience, but 
But I think it was like really good that we got to do do this because I know a lot of science fairs canceled it, but the organizers made it really easy to upload the project in and do everything that we couldn't do because of COVID-19. So I'm really thankful to or all the organizers for for doing this and creating such an amazing opportunity. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, John, I think you had a, a, few, a couple questions, right? Antonio, I noticed that you had data up to 2019. Do you have access to the January 2020 data? Well, actually, mm -hmm. I was like, I was really excited to predict for this for this hurricane season, but they didn't, um, the website didn't update that. So I'm definitely, as soon as they put it up there, I don't know, I expected it to go in March, but it didn't. So as soon as they update it, I will definitely continue my research. And let us know, please. I'd mm -hmm. like to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. Well, about... Another question I would have is, uh, uh, after you've gone through your whole project and looking back on it, what would you do differently? Um, let's think about that one. I think there are definitely some times that like I felt stuck in the process. Like before I discovered image augmentation and learned about that, I was like really stuck on how I could get more data available. I was searching a while for that. So I think maybe if I would have known a couple of things before, it would have been useful. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, um, so Antonio, do you have any questions for us? Uh, no, I just would once again like to thank everyone for doing this. And also I had my advisor, um, Hiroyuki Murakami from the NOAA. He also really helped me through this. And all the organizers, just I wouldn't have been able to do this without them. Great, great, thank you. Well, I wish you the best at Broadcom and uh, you have a very, very interesting project and I'm, I'm sure you'll do well there. Um, but I encourage you to keep going with the science. Uh, looks like you're a really motivated young woman and I think you're, you're gonna do great. Um, so thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you.